Hey guys, this is CMDR with part 2 of uh, the Nook Color CM10 uh, Nightlies from Cyanogen Mod. So I'll be taking another look at the um, the uh, the Cyanogen Mod Nightlies uh, to show you how they progressed. The first time I took the video, um, the Nightlies were pretty buggy and laggy, nothing really worked. But it's been a couple months and I just wanted to show you guys how far it's progressed, just in case you were wondering. I apologize for any screen flicker on the Nook Color. Um, that doesn't actually happen on the thing. That's only uh, with the camera. So, but in the review, um, back to the review. Uh, a lot has changed since the first nightly. Um, obviously, is a lot smoother. In the first nightly, I mentioned um, that butter. It seemed that butter wasn't working uh, for some odd reason. It seemed uh, very much slower. But um, I'm not using cedar or anything, and it's actually usable. Granted, I don't use my next Nick color a lot anymore. Ever since I got my um. Ever since I got my Nexus uh, 7, uh, sorry, something's um, trying to uh, connect with Bluetooth in the background, so it's slowing down a little bit. But granted, I don't use my Nook Color a lot, yet um, sometimes I use it for browsing on the couch or whatever when I don't have my Nexus 7 movie. But I gotta say, it's actually a lot faster um, ever since the new updates. So we'll do a couple speed comparisons between the uh, the two. Obviously, the Nexus 7 is going to be a lot faster, but this is just for you to uh, get a look at and feel about the speed of it, just in case you haven't switched to Science and Mod because you're afraid it's too slow or something. Um, to the things that don't work, uh, before we get into this review, um, Google Now and Google Search still doesn't work. I have it disabled, so the bar isn't here at all. Like, the app is completely disabled because it just doesn't work. It force closes. So I'm hoping they'll be fixing that sometime soon, but you never know. Um, so we'll just go into this. Uh, obviously, it's a lot faster. So here the Nexus 7 is very smooth uh, on 4.2, so obviously it's very fast. Uh, scrolling is, you know, pretty fast. It's about uh, 60 frames a second at all times. This is a bit slower, but it's not that far behind. It's actually pretty close. It's uh, quite smooth, and the app drawer is a little bit laggy at times, but scrolling through it's no problem. It handles it uh, very well. Um, this is a lot better than the ICS builds if you're still on that. Um, it runs a lot faster because um, obviously Jelly Bean came with uh, it came with more uh, open libraries, I guess you could say. It came with more open uh, things, so they managed to hack most uh, more stuff onto it than they did with ICS because ICS was mostly running on hacks. So obviously OpenGL is completely working. So you're going to be getting um, the full uh, the full you know um, software. Uh, software rendered, uh, or the GPU rendered um, UI, you're going to get all that um, completely rendered. So it's not hacked on OpenGL rendering, it's completely working. Um, all the options under developer options are working, and um, just to show you, this is in fact 4.1, here it is 4.1, I'm going to just do this, um, just to show you guys, obviously a little bit lag here. Um, I don't have mine overclocked to anything, mine's running at um, 300 megahertz minimum and 1100 uh, 1100 as the max so I haven't had any freezes any crashes which is uh, very much different from ICS it's a completely different experience I haven't had any uh, like there's been lag from time to time but nothing is really frozen um, so as you can see I'm going to open a few apps here to get you a look and feel for the OS um, it's actually pretty smooth it's smoother than I would expect because I haven't used this in a while but um, the most the most interesting thing about it and I'll show this later in the video is the battery life the battery life on here is amazing ICS barely lasted me two or three days. I'll just um, open get uh, CM. Refresh the page so you can see how fast it loads. Obviously, browser speeds are fast because it's the AOSP browser. Everything's smooth. Everything loads fast. So, download speeds are fast. All the uh, OMX libraries are uh, completely installed. So, if you were to go to YouTube and uh, load a video, um, it would work. Obviously, I don't have YouTube on here to show you, but it works. So there are a couple frame drops um, on the YouTube application when you're watching a video, but over uh, overall, you can watch videos on it. So it's not like ICS where nothing worked at all. Um, most of the stuff is functional. So it has all the Jelly Bean features, uh, except for Google now, obviously. But back to the most uh, important thing about uh, this ROM. Um, if you go into settings and you take a look at battery, whoops, battery, um, I'm just going to come in here. Uh, it's at 80%, but if you notice the um, date, it's been on for 2 days and 22 hours and 57 minutes. So it's been on for practically 3 days, and that is amazing, because I would never get anything close to this. Now, granted, it's been on Tablet Idol. Tablet Idol has been on for, you know, the majority of the time it's been idling. So there's always that. 
But other than that, um, the battery life on here is amazing. I could do browsing for an hour straight and it wouldn't go down a couple percent. Meanwhile, on my Nexus 7, uh, while it is a smoother experience, the battery life is much worse on here. Um, being this is four cores and this is one core, it probably takes up a lot more power on there. So that's just something to look at. 14 hours here and I'm at 80%. So this lasted three hours longer, but this this is, uh, I use this a lot in this on idle, so that's something to look at. But um, other than that, the battery life on here is um, actually very, very good. So the nut color had a huge battery and it came out and it continues to um, excel in that point. But um, I'll just open a couple apps so you can get a feel. That's the clock app. Very nice. And then later we'll switch back to those apps to see how much it can hold in RAM because it has a gig of RAM. So let's just open the Facebook app. It's very graphically intensive. It's a very large app. Obviously I can open it up on here and it would load a lot faster. So see, it's already loaded on the next seven. Obviously I can just scroll through here. Everything's working, it's very fast. But on here, it's not as smooth, but you can certainly use it. It's certainly usable. So seems to have whoops and a little lag here, but it's definitely usable if you get used to this. So as you can see, it's already working. Check your notifications, whatever. I mean, it's Facebook. So um, back to the UI. So it's obviously not enough to compare to any of the newer tablets you have out there, but if you're still on your Nook Color, it's very nice to install this ROM and uh, breathe some newer life into your uh, Nook Color. Obviously, if you have a newer tablet, you won't bother, probably. But uh, some people out there, believe it or not, still use the Nook Color, and many people develop for it, including Krylon and all them. So that's something to look at, too. I'll just run a Quadrant benchmark here and um, show you guys uh, how that turns out. So I'll just run the full benchmark. And... Um, We'll just watch this go. Um, actually, the um, yeah, as I mentioned before, it's m much faster than on ICS. On ICS, I could barely even get a score out of Quadrant. It was so slow. But um, here you actually get a score at the end, and um, it actually runs the 3D graphics portion pretty well. Obviously, the CPU and uh, memory-based tests are pretty slow, and this is three-year-old hardware, but um, the graphics test, it actually... Uh, can do that pretty well. Most of them run in about 30 frames a second. So it's uh, obviously a very capable device even now. So that's that. Um, on the Nexus 7, we'll, we'll be able to compare. Um, we'll be able to compare the results. So I'll just start it on here. <clears throat> obviously, this has a um, an ARM uh, V7 uh, revision 2 uh, CPU in it. Um, it's the Cortex A A7, which is um, one generation before the A8 and two generations before the A9. So obviously it's uh, slower hardware. The Nexus 7 is already chugging through here. It's almost at 3G tests, but um, it still chugs through uh, ginger uh, jelly bean. My bad. I, it still goes through that pretty well. Um, many people on the new color are still using gingerbread because they seem it's a lot faster. But at this point in time, I think it's uh, safe to switch to CM10 uh, because it just it runs so much better on the um, on the net color. So that's something to look at too. If you have one, uh, you can always install that. Still on CPU tests, but when it goes to graphics, I'll show you guys the frame rate so you can see it. Wow, that is taking a while. Here we already have the benchmark results. This isn't a comparison between the two per se. It's not like a. Uh, it's not like I'm trying to compare the two, but I'm just trying to get a feel for if you have an X7 and you know the speed of Tegra three, you can always uh, kind of get a feel for how fast this is uh, for any of you guys who. Uh, you know, are looking to install it. So obviously here for the Nexus 7, I'm running stock ROM on here and I'm getting a score of 3806. So uh, that's pretty high. It's just under the Transformer Prime. Um, it's a little bit slower than those, but it's uh, it's a fairly high score. Here we're on the, um, we're still on CPU. This is running arithmetics and floating point um, tests and um, it's about to end then. It's about to get a memory. So that's something to look at. Um, but yeah, uh, the neck color is still a very capable device. I still use it for browsing and all that stuff. So it's very nice. It's a nice, uh, you know, it's still a very good device. Very capable. has an HD screen. So we'll just wait for this to finish up.
And as for the uh, drivers that were fixed in Jelly Bean, from the Switch to ICS to Jelly Bean, the speaker was one of the things that were fixed. So now you can actually listen to music on Internet Color. Um, if you're coming from Ice Cream Sandwich Builds, uh, you can actually listen to music on it. Everything's working basically uh, when it comes to the drivers and libraries. All that is working. <coughs> it's still going through the CPU. It's on checksum now, and now it's switched to memory. And <laughs> we still have I.O. to go. And it went through memory pretty quickly. And now we're on I.O. It's almost done with I.O. So this is the interesting part. This is the part where it goes to... Um, it's going to be testing the 2D and 3D graphics. So. There we go. It's on database writes on I.O. So it's almost done with that portion. And here we go. So I'm going to just get in here. I'm going to tell you. That one scored about 30 frames a second. Here we're getting... Uh, we're getting just over... We're getting 16 frames a second, so just under 20. Here just uh, jumped up to 40, and now we're at uh, just around 20 frames a second. So overall, it's fairly smooth for such an old device. I've seen a lot worse come from uh, these portions. This is the 3D portion test. Obviously, this is getting a high frame rate. This is about 24, 25, around 30. So that's pretty smooth on that portion. This is a very graphically intensive portion on the test, and this is getting uh, 12 frames a second, which is not bad. Uh, it actually looks fairly smooth on here. So here we are, benchmark results. I'm not expecting very high results. But for the 3D, you can expect a fairly high. So your device scored at the bottom uh, just near the Nexus S. So it's not that much lower. It scored 1,105, which is very uh, stark in comparison uh, to what this scored on it, which was a 3,806. So this is roughly three times more powerful than this, um, according to this test. But here we have um, this portion, and actually for the uh, 3D test, it didn't score that much worse than any of these devices. So as you can see, the Nexus 7, uh, my Nexus 7, scored 2,432, while this one scored 841, which isn't that big of a difference if you really look at it. Um, they didn't really score that big a part when it comes to the 3D testing, so it's still a very capable device when it comes to that kind of stuff. Obviously, its weak point, its bottleneck, was um, not memory, but its CPU which is aging over time and it's not doing as well. But um, that was just our second look at Jelly Bean uh, via, C uh, via CM10 on the uh, Nook Color. Uh, if you missed the first video, I'll put an annotation uh, in the video so you can click on that and see the first one if you hadn't seen it before. Uh, that was my review of the second portion of it. It was a comparison to the Nexus 7. And if you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, so I guess that's it. Peace.